Grace can go and grab one. It comes with everything that you see here in this bag. I'm going to go through it with you guys and let you guys see everything, including the instructions. So we will get to it. And then I also have a star that we're going to paint here in just a little bit too. So you guys are going to get to watch me back to back today. So we're going to go live, not once, but we're going to go live twice. So it'll be lots of fun. So let me open this up. Get us with a coffee really quick. Okay. Um, so this is what the kit looks like. It's going to come with your strawberry and all the 3D pieces. You have your seeds, of course, and then your farm fresh, which goes on here. Um, I'm going to move this up a little bit um, because I didn't like the way my farm fresh looked. Um, farm. And then fresh. Okay, and then you have your strawberries things right there. So that's kind of how that's gonna look like that. I like to use tape for mine for when I paint. Um, so that way it makes less of a mess, but you can do it however you see fit. If you don't like doing the tape, you can do however you wanna do it. So I think we'll place it up actually a little bit higher. I was trying to leave that cutting board look to it, but it doesn't fit right. I'm gonna try and get it as close as how they had it on this picture here. So you guys, when if you order this kit, you're gonna get these paper instructions and you'll get everything that you see. Um, you'll get some florals for your bow. You'll get all the paint that you need. This one does come with the paint and the colors. So you'll get all your paint colors. So we have the greens in here. You have black, white, and then it looks like another black, which you can never have too many blacks. And then in a big jar, you get your red, your strawberry, and then some more white. Okay. And then you have your ribbons here that are already pre-measured for you for a bow. I'm gonna move those aside just in case. I don't want to get paint on them. And this really cute rope that's gonna wrap around the, the bottom part of the um, cutting board. So this will we'll wrap around here and glue that. So that's gonna be really cool. I just realized I need an extension cord. So one second, I gotta yell for Avery. Avery! And it does come with a glue stick, which is really awesome too. I don't use um, my what? Um, I need a favor. What? You sound so pleased. Never mind, I think I figured it out. Never mind. I'll just use this cord over here to see if it works. Maybe I do all that. Um, it does come with the super glue stick, like I said, if you use the glue pot. I don't use a glue pot, so. That unfortunately will not fit in my glue gun. My glue gun's a little baby one right here, but works just as good. I like him, he makes less of a mess. Cause you know, I'm just a part-time crafter now. Okay, so we'll let that guy warm up cause it does take a minute. So we're just gonna follow the simple instructions that Lori's laid out for us and I'm gonna make it with you and we'll do it step by step. So number one is first step she has is to make the bow. I'm going to make the bow last, um, so we're going to skip that part for now, and I'm going to do it last, because um, I'm going to make my bow according to after how I paint to see how everything looks and see if I want to make my bow big or large. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and paint this board white, and it did come with this brush here. If you have other brushes that you like to use, you can use this too, but if you don't mind washing brushes, then you can... Uh, Dip this, change it out. Just be kind of gentle with it because you do have to get through a few items with it. So just be soft with these. You don't want to get really rough with it. I'm actually going to turn this one over this way. Okay. And this is just our white paint. Okay. That is not white paint. That is Mod Podge. That is Mod Podge. That is not white paint. They put the M on the wrong one. That's Mod Podge too. I think they forgot to send me white paint. That's right, I have white paint. 
Alright, let me grab out some white paint then. I'm glad I checked that. So I'm just going to grab some white acrylic paint here. Can always add more. I'm just going to start with just a little bit and then we'll add on if we need it. That's a lot of paint. It is kind of a lot of paint. I hardly even need all of it. All right, let me wash this brush off really, really good since it had the montage on it. Why does it say Coke? Oh, that's, what the, um, that's where the cup came from. And there's the red and the strawberry. Why is it red right here, but but not red right here? How do you think of your frappuccino? Now, if you have a wipey, you can do the wipey method for this. Or if you're just going to use what came in the kit, use what came in the kit. This would be fun for anybody that has craft shows and you need some items to fill your booth up. This would be a great one because it comes with all the supplies for you. So then you don't have to worry about extra fees because it's already roped in there. And it's a quick little project you can batch out. Or if you're not very experienced in painting and want to learn, but you don't want to have to go and buy all the paint stuff right away. This also it makes it a fun project. Too. So you can kind of make this your own too if you want to add a flare to it, which I have some glitter we can add to it. We can kind of make this how we want to. You can add as much spice to it as you want. And I'm doing super thin strokes here. We're just kind of first coat here I'm just trying to get basically the base wet and get it covered as best as I can and then we'll let it dry and probably have to do another coat on it especially if I put my fingers in it like that <laughs> okay okay we'll let that dry I'm gonna keep that white right there so we will let this sit over here and dry Hey, Susa, did you find a flight yet? Okay, I also like to come through and I like to paint my base white too. Um, especially when I'm working with like bright colors like red and things like that, greens, pretty much all colors. Um, it just looks really nice when that base is, has a nice little clear, not clear, sorry, has a nice white coat to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna also do this, just a thin white coat, okay? Super thin, that's a little thick for my liking, but hopefully we can stretch it out. Try not to overload your brush too much. And this brush got wet, so that also makes a difference. Really careful not to get those edges because I want to leave those edges with the black that's already done for me. It's one less step I have to do later for shading or for finishing touches. Okay, so that white, just a small thin coat there, nothing too fancy, not yet. All right, well, hopefully you do. Hopefully you do. 
Would it be cheaper to fly to Dawn and then drive with Dawn now? Or do you not have that much time off from work? You probably don't have that much time off from work. I'm going out, going to South Carolina to visit Lori for her wreath retreat. I'm really excited. I missed the last two. I told her I was like, I don't want to miss any more. And so she's, she agrees. It's so, it's so, it's so much easier because I help plan them. You know, from I help plan them, and then to not have, it feels like I don't fall through when I can't come. But I also have really young kids at home. So it makes it kind of hard to travel. And my husband works full time too, out of the home. So I always have to work around his schedule. And it used to be easier when he worked, when he was like, he could work from remote and now he doesn't have that job anymore where he can work remote. So a lot of obstacles, you know, paid time off, things like that. But I'm excited, I get to go visit her in August. And I think we're gonna do a, like a mini grand opening of the marketplace too. So we'll have to bring you guys around for that too. Okay, again, just super thin coat here on the strawberry because we're gonna paint it red, but I just want all those imperfections on the wood, which there really wasn't any, the wood was really perfect, um, just to be covered up. but. And give something for that red to really hold on to and not get super absorbed into it. But it did alright. I'm gonna grab another one of those phones. Brushes. I have another one. Same exact phone brush. I'm just gonna fix some of these. This is just a dry phone brush. I need super extra paint. I'm gonna just basically just take it off with this brush. So you can see that it was completely dry, just kind of went through. If it was overloaded anywhere, just basically took it off with that instead of mixing more paint. Okay, we'll set the strawberry off to the side. Next stuff is going to be our Farm Fresh. We're gonna go ahead and paint this now so this can sit and dry. And we're gonna come in with black, and there's also some black glitter right here for you. Now you may need a smaller brush for this since these, these paints are a little bit smaller. So I'm going to grab my angle brush right here. My angle brush with my strand of extra brush. And we'll dip it in here, okay? And we'll come through and grab this. So it did come with glitter for you so you don't have to worry about getting black glitter, it came with it. Now you can clean your sponge brush off here and use it again for the whole project. I just like to use smaller brushes when I paint my letters. I could have painted these with a white base too, decided not to. I'm sure she doesn't, you're not putting her out though. I'm sure she'd be like, best friend, drive with me. I bet she'd rather have you drive with her than her drive by herself and meet you there, don't you think? If it bothered Dawn, she'd tell you.
Okay, we're also gonna paint these seeds black too, and we're gonna add glitter to these. So we're gonna go ahead and paint these now so that way they can dry. And then we'll add Mod Podge over them and then sprinkle the glitter while the Mod Podge is wet. And then we will have our glittery black seeds. And this also came with a flower, which I am not sure if I'm supposed to get a flower because I do not see a flower on here. I am not going to paint this because I think this might have been an accident so that way I can send it back to them. If you got a flower in yours, let me know in the comments and I will paint the flower for you. We'll have to pull out some colors from my stash though. This is all dry, so we're gonna come back through now and we're gonna do our strawberry. Okay, now with the with, with the tail the leaves of the strawberry, we're gonna go in with our dark green first, and then after that dries, we'll come in with in shade with our light green. Okay. So I'm gonna close this black here so I don't make a mess of myself. I decided to wear a white t-shirt today and I'm really regretting it. I should have changed my shirt. <laughs> okay, we're going to open up these greens here. Ooh, that lime green's gorgeous. All right. I'm going to grab my half inch angle brush. Okay. We're going to come through here and we are just going to eat I tell Avery it's kind of like coloring with colored pencils. You kind of want to outline first, right? And so you come through and you like outline it and then you fill in. So it's kind of what I like to do here too. Same thing. <laughs> Rotate that with me. Get that nice little outline. Same thing here, I'm just gonna make sure all my lines are nice and straight here. Can't see any paint lines. Same thing on this guy here. Okay, all right, we'll put him over to the side, let him dry for a minute, and then we'll come through and add. Oh, we'll get over it, Susan. <laughs> I'm ordering you to get over it. I would love it if we road trips and you drove with me. We could have like, oh my gosh, that drive is like super far. How far is that drive from me to F4? I think it's like 20 hours. So it'd be like a 20 hour con like concert, you know, because I totally sing in the car and I sing loud and proud and obnoxiously. Hello. Hi, Sue. I am glad you're there watching. That makes me happy. Okay, we're taking our red. This is a lot of paint. You'll have paint left over. Okay, we're going to come in with our red now. And I am just going to outline here where that strawberry is. 
I'm not worried about covering those holes or the out, not holes, I'm sorry. I'm not worried about covering where the little seeds are gonna go because I'll be able to see through it because they are engraved into there so that way you can see where you're gonna place those. So I am not worried about that at all, okay? Again, we're just gonna come through and outline this first. Really wanna make sure I offload that brush because it'll help make those lines go seamless. I'm gonna come through that with a smaller brush. Okay. Same thing here. Does anybody have any fun plans for 4th of July? They always do a parade here in our town in the morning. So we like to take the kids to that. So we'll go do the parade. And then usually they do like a car show and have some fun things down at the park. So we'll probably be doing that too. brush now. This will need two coats for the red. I did put a little paint on this dry brush here just to even it out. I'm going to go back and grab that angle brush, the small one right off really good make sure there's no green on there or black comments back from YouTube. Sorry, my computer turned off. Let me refresh this. Oh man, I got a little bit of red on my... It's okay because it's going to be covered up by the other one, but... Wipeys work really, really good too. Remember that. Okay. I'm going to come in right here and grab these spots here that are also part of the strawberry. I don't necessarily have to paint these right here because they will be covered by the leaves. But just in case, that's why I'm not too worried about it being like super perfect, like on the outside or inside that, because it's going to be covered up by those 3D pieces. But I just want to get it just enough that it knows that it's there. Okay, I'm going to touch up on a couple places here. I'm trying to still keep that same line. Um, I agree. You should just hang out. If it's this day, you just hang out. 
on by the pool and you do you. And then I will make Don come help me for business day. I am totally support that. I'm gonna grab another ankle brush. Okay. And we're gonna come in with our lime green now. And we're just going to Just highlight some of that stem. dip that in just a little bit of water. Okay. And when I put it in the water, it kind of gets that paint wet again as like a water base and then I can move it better. And I can create more of a easier color cover. without it covering too much. Like I don't want it to be overpowering. I just want it to be enough. Like a little greenery coming through here. There we go. Just added a little water to that to make it more of like a watercolor. push a little bit harder on this part and really blend those colors up in there. Okay? You will not, you cannot ruin this. It, can, it won't look bad. No strawberry is super perfect so your painting shouldn't be super perfect either. Should be perfect to your liking. Okay. So it kind of just creates a little bit of an off greenish color to it. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy with it, you could be cutesy and do like, you could have done polka dots with that, or you could have just smudged it on there. You can kind of do whatever you want with it realistically. So we're gonna leave it like that. Ooh, I like that. Look how cute that is together. Just some of the strawberry like that. So cute. That's cute. Thanks. Hey. Cadence says it's cute. All right, I'm gonna come in now with our foam brush back to the red. Okay, and we'll do one more coat on this. Uh, Susan, did Lori tell you we have to move it to the warehouse? I just started thinking about that. I have to make an announcement in the group too. I let them know. It's just there's not enough room after some of our vendors came in put their stuff in there. And we can't ask them to not have stuff in their booths. So we're going to have to move it to the warehouse. It's going to be better anyway. More room. So you'll just have to hang out at the hotel by yourself. But we could probably always send Ross to come get you. Or maybe don't we or maybe we won't even need you for the business day. You or Dom. Okay, that's all drying. Okay, we'll let that finish drying. Okay. Now shh. 
I'm gonna do another coat of this black on the Farm Fresh, but let's go ahead and glitter these now. Grab your paper plate because you're gonna want something to sprinkle this glitter into. I'm gonna close these paints. Make sure you hear the snap, okay? Okay. You can break this off by, well, I used to be able to, yeah. You can twist it too to break it off if that's easier. That's what I just did. Okay, here's the Mod Podge too. So the Mod Podge also is in that tiny little one here. Um, you always want to use kind of a crappy brush for Mod Podge. So I'm going to grab this crappy yellow brush here that I have. Okay, and we'll just paint thin coats over the top of these. And wherever you get Mod Podge, that's where that glitter is going to stick. Okay, and it doesn't take very long for the Mod Podge to dry, so I would probably just do maybe four or five of these at first, and then move on to the next ones because it does dry very quickly. Oh, okay. okay and then you're going to just get kind of close there and sprinkle that on there. You get a lot of glitter, so. Don't be afraid to sprinkle that on there. Okay. okay. Let's grab some more. This time I did all of them, all the rest of them. And I still have that much glitter left over, even after making a huge mess and spilling the majority of it on my plate. see one that really needs another good dip to it. Maybe this guy too. Okay, we'll let those sit there and dry for a minute. Put that in the water. Take my paper plate. I'm gonna try and open this back up. These are so hard for me to open. Here we go. That's all the glitter we'll need, so I'm just gonna put this in my leftover glitter pile. And put that back under there. Okay. Gonna do one more coat here on the black for our Farm Fresh, and then we will be able to put this all together and make our bow. I'm gonna grab my small angle brush again.
Also, let's take a look and see how our, we'll let that dry too. Fingers are stuck to it. Let's see how this dried. Oh, very cute. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna leave it. You can do another coat if you'd like on this, but I kind of like how it looks a little like farmhouse y with the, the wood grains and items like that. You could take some sandpaper and really sand this up and make it have a little texture to it. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna grab our rope. Okay. And we're gonna wrap this around the bottom half here. Okay. And I'm gonna take my glue gun. And I'm just gonna do a line, a really thin line right there on this first piece, okay? Just like that. I wanna make sure it's somewhat straight. Okay. And then we'll press down on this. Okay. And then I'll just take it from there and we'll just wrap. Okay. And I'm just gonna wrap this. I'm laying it all flat right next to each other, up right on it. Okay. I always wanna end in the back because that's where you'll hide the imperfections at, is in the back. And also with ending it in the back, that's where I will glue. I will glue it to the back of it. So it's not on the front. So you don't have to worry about seeing any of those glue pieces. We'll just glue it to the back. And I'm just gonna go in between each one of these pieces, okay? And I'm not using a lot of glue. I'm just kind of barely pressing that and just running it through. And it's just enough that I can roll the next piece behind it on there. It should not require a lot of glue. And the tiny piece where we started, that's really hot. Don't burn yourselves. We'll push down right here into the glue. Okay, so just like that. And you can see how it's all still nice in the back. You can barely tell there's glue. As soon as that's dry, we'll touch it up. But that's what it looks like in the front. So we just did a small little line to get that first one started. And then after that, everything else will go in the back. So you don't have to worry about seeing the imperfections. All right, this is all dry, so let's go ahead and grab our pieces and let's glue these together. I don't think I've ever glued anything with you guys live before. So this is fun, you get to see kind of how I did it. Do it, did it, do it. I just put a little bit of glue on there. Give it a second. This glue does dry fast. This is wood glue. It's by Elmer or uh, by um, which glue is this? Gorilla Glue. It's high temp and it's wood glue. I buy these off of Amazon, and I love this glue. I also have some wood glue that Lori sent that we're gonna try it out too. So if you're a hot glue gun person, this glue is great. If you like wood glue, we're going to try out some of her wood glue too that she has. Um, I've used some of it before at the studio when we had the studio running. And I loved, loved it. It was really good. So the ultimate, she sent that to me too. So we'll be trying that out. Okay. I can see some spots here where the red, I didn't quite get high enough on that strawberry. So we're going to just use our lid. And I'm going to touch up right here. Because I don't want any of that white to show. Okay. And we'll just touch that up right here. I did get some on the leaves, so now we will have to touch up the leaves. Okay. And then this part over here where it's kind of hanging off, we'll do that green. Okay, so I'll rinse this off a little bit. I'm going to get it. One more spot right in here. Okay. 
Just touch that up just a little bit. This is the dark green. I'm going to come right in here. Remember, if you have a wipey, you might be able to get away with just wiping it off with a wipey instead of having to touch it up like I did. I am out of wipies and I didn't go to Walmart today, so. All right. Okay, remember our cute little seeds? We're gonna grab the hot glue here. We'll glue these ones on next. dots of glue. You don't need a lot of glue for this. You want those to lay flat. And just make sure you, oh man, look at that. Dang it. It's because I used that. This is so cute. I am glad we did the sparkles. It just adds to it. it just makes it that much. It just gives it a little something. Just a little something extra. Okay, so there's all of those. So there's our cute little strawberry pieces. You want to make sure you get those little spiderweb glue stains out of the way. I'm going to take the end. Actually, you know what? Grab dark 
marketer. I need. I just ordered new wine brushes. I wish they were here today. They said they would be, and of course they haven't shown up yet. I don't want it to be too bad. Okay. And then we have leftover white right here, so I'm gonna grab this white here. I don't want a lot, I just want a little bit. I'm just mixing it up because it's been sitting for too long. Okay. I'm gonna add some detail to it, okay? I'll just come right through here and add a little bit of detail. And then the same thing for here. Okay. Just a little bit of detail to it. Next, we'll glue on our Farm Fresh. Okay. okay. And we'll get to make a bow here soon. On the letters, I don't, I don't do a lot of glue on the letters. I just do it in the like the bottom portions of the letters, because it doesn't need a lot, and then that way you don't have glue seeping out to the sides of it. So I just do on the F. I do down the big, big line here, and then I'll do a dot there, and then a dot right there. So that way it's not too much. Oh, that was hot, hot. Okay. And we'll come right back over this way here. And the same thing with the R. Oh, I thought that was my finger. <laughs> oh. Kind of cute. Nah, I think it's really cute. Okay, and the sh, the sh. Bring that down this way. Okay, and then the fun part. We're gonna glue our strawberry next. So I'm not, I don't want to waste glue, so I'm only going to glue the parts and make sure I get glue on the parts that the wood is connecting to the other wood, okay? And here I went a little happy with the glue. So you can see it kind of went all happy. Now when I lay this down, this is down for the count, so got to make sure I get it exactly where I want it, which is right there. We're going to apply some pressure to it. Okay. 
Okay. Farm fresh strawberries. Let's go ahead and make our bow and add our green green while we let everything sit. I don't know. You don't want to go get my bow maker for me, do you? Downstairs? You will. Oh, you're the sweetest Avery. Would you go get my bow maker, please? Pictures. Are you gotta film on that? I'm just gonna cut little pieces of this off. I'm not gonna use this whole thing. That's a lot of greenery. We don't need to use that whole thing, so. Oh, okay. Well, let me talk about. Let me think about it. No, let me think about it. Okay, we're waiting for Avery to get my. Oh no! Go ask Avery to get me a zip tie. That zip tie is broken. Never mind, I found one, Kaden. I need a bow. I need zip ties. I have a bunch of them. Did um, you grab me a bow maker? No. It's in the craft closet. I lost this one in there. Okay, I'm making a bow by hand. Okay, so. Oh, I think you should get a strawberry too. Okay, we're gonna do this by hand. I am going to cut this into strips. So that's about six. That's about six. And six. And six. And then we might need that one for something. Okay. And we will do the same thing for the red. You are fine. We're going to paint another one too right after this. We have our patriotic star. We're going to paint that one right after this. So I'll just do a quick little switcheroo and go get that bow maker for the next one so that way I can show you guys how I use bow makers too. And then we will paint our star. And that one's all red, white, and blue. It'll be super fun. We do have more of those inside the shop too. You can never go wrong with patriotic decor. I keep my patriotic stuff up the majority of the year, actually. And that's my number one request since I started doing door hangers, is um, I have a lot of people asking me if I can do more patriotic stuff. So it's kind of fun that I get to paint so much red, white, and blue stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna go in here, we'll do a loop. Okay. Just like that. Same thing, meet it in the middle, come through and do another loop, okay? And I just got to make sure that I twist that ribbon so that tail is coming out where I need it to go, okay? So we have two loops already. I'm going to keep holding this. Okay, and 
another loop. I'm gonna pinch this one here, but I'm gonna come down this opposite way. And we'll come this way. Just make sure I twist those tails if they need to be twisted. Same thing with the strawberry. Now, if you had Lori's Deco Mesh tool, you can use that to hold your ribbons for you if you don't have a good pinch or if you can't pinch between your fingers, which there's nothing wrong with that. It took me years to learn this part of bow making and lots of practice and watching videos. Now you can use all the ribbon or you can do small bows, you can do tiny bows, however you feel like you want to do your bows, you go for it. You do what you want to do on this. And we'll worry about the tails after I get it all tied. We'll figure out what we want to do with all of our tails. Okay. I'm going to grab another strawberry. Okay. This one I'm going to do a little bit shorter and come right in here in the center. I'm gonna make sure I'm pinching these all the way. This way, twist you, you come around. Okay. And then I'm gonna use these two for the tails. If I need some longer tails, I'll come through and do these for the tail. So there's my bow. Okay. I'm gonna take my zip tie. I'm gonna come up through my fingers here. I'm not going to go super tight yet, but just tight enough, okay, keeping that center, and then this is where I'll come and fluff out all my ribbons if they need to be twisted or not, okay. That there, that can come over there, you come up in between. I really like it when my I have like the strawberry and then the red, and then strawberry, red, and kind of just have it so it's alternating a little bit so you get a little bit of both patterns in between each other. Okay. And then this bottom one's got to be twisted here. To come over this way. We're going to come straight down here. This one's going to come over this way. I need another one of these. Okay, and once I like, oh, look at that fill out. That's okay, I can add that back in there, so it's okay, we'll add it to it. And then this loop up here is just a little too big, so I want to see about pulling this in just a little bit without breaking that ribbon there. There we go. And then go that way. So I can have my tiny loop right here for the strawberries. Okay, now if I like how it looks, I'll tighten it now. That way I don't lose another one. Okay, I'm going to cut that off. Now what's coming? Dovetail here, or ducktail. I used to just call it ducktail for the longest time, and I think somebody called it dovetail. Which I've never even seen a dovetail, so I wonder if it really is a ducktail or a dovetail. Okay. This strawberry one, I'm going to come in at an angle. This strawberry one here will do this way. I love this red ribbon. It's so good and like super flexible. You can really bend it and manipulate it how you want. Okay, we'll come back over and do this one too. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the 
seem, seem just at an angle with this one. Oops. Yes, so you get the ribbon and the paint and the florals with this one. So this is all a kit. So you've, everything that you've seen me using, except for white paint, but, but I think that's an accident. This is Mod Podge, and I think she thought it was white paint when she packed it. So normally you'd have everything. I had to use my own white paint, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me any. So you can see I have some ribbon left over. If I decide I want to make a bigger bow or add some loops to it, I'll add some. But I think we're okay for right now. And I really don't want that long of tails on this one. Cause I don't want to take away from the wood part of it. Okay. And I'm just going to turn this guy that way. So that way it's these two loops here. Leave my tails at the top. Oh, cause I dovetailed that one. I am going to dovetail this one now. I didn't realize I did that. I want them to be the same. Kind of cute, right? Just kind of flashy here and there. All right, grabbing our snippies. right on the greenery here and I'm just gonna take it and just stuff it under and again you can do as many or as less as you want to do what was that noise outside what I don't know it sounded like something slammed oh that was my camera well that's not very good no my umbrella I meant Oh. My umbrella slammed against the wood. Oh, okay. Well, probably not a good idea. From um, by accident. All right. I don't like that. So we're gonna take this off that. Hey, smile. Smile, Avery. It's not very sexy. right there oh how cute now you can do this a big bow i know lori likes to do really big big bows which is that's love it i i'm all for the bows my style's really changed in the last year for like home decor stuff and so because if it's something that i want to sell i was like oh okay well then i'll do it bigger right or smaller so i make this smaller i like things just a little bit more smaller side now instead of just Big and bold, but there's nothing. No, there's nothing wrong with that though. Yes, you can make that boat, this bow in the bow maker. It's just um, a um, one loop on each side. So one loop and then switch ribbon and then go on, go forth from there. Um, you could probably do two loops on each side, probably make it faster. So do one loop on each side. So two loop bow, but one on each side. I, my, I asked my daughter to go get my bow maker. I forgot it downstairs, but she wouldn't go get it. So we had to improvise last minute. So. Hey, 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 I did not see it. The next live I do, I'm going to go live again here in just a minute. But when we do the star, oh, thank you. When we do the star, we will do, I'll use the bow maker so you guys can see. And we'll do the same bow with the bow maker. I'm going to stick this guy right here. Maybe not. I don't yeah. like it. Mm, I 
They've been really naughty lately. Anybody else's kids been super naughty? Or grandkids? I'm about send them to I'm about ready to send them to live with grandma and grandpa. What's what's grandma and grandpa? My dad and Jenny. Ooh, yeah, it'll be so much fun. Especially when he makes you drink all your milk at the dinner table, makes you eat. Tuna helper. Okay. Oh, I think it's cute. Okay, I'm gonna just fluff this out just a little bit. Okay, here is my version of our farm fresh strawberries. This is our painted kit that we have. And like I said, if you order this kit, it's gonna come with everything you see here. It's gonna come with all your paint, your florals, um, and then it'll come with the ribbons too, and then all of, uh, the, even the rope comes with the whole set. So here's my version of this. Yes, I know. You could totally make it with a bow maker. I just didn't have one handy instead of making you guys wait for me to go downstairs and grab it. I just did it with my hands. But um, basically, I did one loop on each side and then smushed it in between my fingers. But if you can't do that, no harm, no foul. It's the weather. Okay. Take some pictures and post it for you. I'm so glad that we were able to do it together. Um, sorry it took us a little hot minute to get it going. Um, next up, I'm gonna end this live and I'm gonna start another one here. We're gonna paint our red, white, and blue star with the bow. I'm gonna go get my bow maker and then I will be right back. This kit is on hardworkingmomstore.com. Here's a link for you guys. It is ready to ship, so you guys will be able to get this fairly quickly. And then you guys can always come back and watch this video. There's also instructions inside the kit. So if you don't like how I did it, or if you want to modify anyway, there's some instructions in there too to help guide you. And then you get to keep all the extra stuff. And you guys can see here, it came with plenty of paint. So I have some lime green, some green, an extra thing of Mod Podge, and then some red paint that I can even use for another project. So very cool. It comes with plenty of items for you. Even came with the black glitter that I used to do the strawberry seeds. The only thing that I added that was different than what's instructed on the paper is just my finishing lines here. And you can do that or you don't have to do that. It's completely entirely up to you. So there we have it. Thanks for watching me. I will see you guys next time in just about 10 minutes or so. Give me 10 minutes to get my kids situated with another activity for them to do. And then I will be back and we'll paint the star. <laughs>